how much oil in the blow-by of a 392 create? How much oil does a Billet Technologies oil catch can catch? In this video, we will go over that. Good afternoon and welcome to the channel. So I'm right about uh, 3,000 miles on my car since I've changed the oil. Um, as some of you may know, I do have an oil catch can from Billet Technologies. Um, so basically, I'm doing this video because I want to show you guys how much oil this catch can collects. Um, I also had a recent comment from a person that's commented on my oil catch can install video, so I want to go over that also. I will show that to you instead of explaining it right now, um, but I'll show you guys what I have. Another thing I've heard is that some oil catch cans don't catch all the oil, some oil catch cans, you know, do catch all the oil. So I'll also show and explain what I'm going to do there, but I want to find out. How much oil is this thing collected and kept out of the intake side of my engine? And also, has it let any oil past the catch can that my engine is still taking in? Or has it caught all the oil? So let me show you guys a few of the things, how I'm going to do this, and show you guys. Like I said, as most of you know, this is my Billet Technologies oil catch can here. Um, so we'll be taking that off and seeing what kind of oil it has collected. Um, I have... A clear container here as you can see nothing in it that's what I'll be pouring the oil into um, I have some q-tips here because what I want to do is I want to pull this off like I said see how much oil that it has collected um, and then basically this line is from your engine comes in here collects the oil in theory we're gonna find out then it comes out the other side and comes over to the intake side of your engine which returns into the intake side of the engine and that's where the oil can go because normally you have a line from this one up to here. Like I said, I had a recent person comment on my oil catch can install video. Also, you can look at that video. Um, there is some mesh that's in the top of this on the intake and on the outlet to filter the oil out. But he was saying that he thought that this is basically a factory oil catch can with this piece that comes out is like a dipstick. So we're gonna be taking that apart and finding out. Um, I do know a little bit about that, so I'll be able to explain it. Um, one thing you're gonna to need to take that top off is a pair of pliers. I've got a pair of pliers here. So this is the tools that I'm gonna be using. If you wanna classify these as tools, this is the tool that I'm gonna be using. Um, also just have some shop towels here to clean up any oil that I drip, and then also clean up the inside of the catch can before I put it back on and everything. So basically, I think the first thing we're gonna get into is we're gonna get into the factory oil catch can, and we're going to check that out, and I will talk about a few things on it, um, and my thoughts on it, and then we will move to the Billet Technologies oil catch can and check it out. Okay, I will bring you guys in to show you differently, um, but I'm gonna show you guys taking this out. Um, so basically, I gotta use these pliers because, well, you can turn it by hand. So maybe you don't need pliers. You may or may not need pliers, um, but basically, turn this to the left. Yeah, see, it got really tight right there. And this is plastic, so you do wanna be careful with it. Just keep turning to the left. It has these slopes that it rides up on to basically pry it out. Um, so here is that piece. It's got an O-ring on the top here and an O-ring on the bottom here. If you listen, it's got what I would say, well you can actually see it down inside there, that shiny part. It's a little check valve or a check ball. Um, so basically you're going to have pressure inside of this. Um, this is coming from your engine, and this would be like the factory catch can. So it's going to collect the oil. It is molded into your intake manifold, um, but it is going to collect the oil and basically drain the oil back down into the engine oil. Um, when your pressure gets high enough or too high, it's going to kick this check valve and it'll let it bypass. Um, and I'll show you guys up here. So as you can see up here in the top, this is the hose coming out. There's a little indent here um, where it'll let that oil bypass and you can see it is very oily in here. Um, there's no way to drain this or get the oil out unless you have like a suction gun. So we're not gonna be worrying about that. I'm just gonna clean this back up. I'm going to 
clean my plug back up. Well, it's like a PVC valve basically is what they're called for intakes. I'm gonna clean that back up and we're gonna put that back in. But that is what this is designed to do, is collect oil, certain pressure, that check valve is going to let the pressure by and then it was going to come around, not to the catch can, but back to the intake side of the engine. But I'm gonna clean that up and get that put back together. So basically what I was saying by cleaning it up, I'm just going to take a shop towel, I'm going to wipe the oil on the top here, down in there a little bit, and then this little PVC valve, basically just wipe the oil off of it. So the next question would be, is does the billet technology catch can catch very much oil, or is this catching most of the oil? And if the billet technology is catching the oil, how much is getting by, if any at all? So basically just put this back in. One thing to note, you have these little points. Like I said, you can see that this is sloped and it goes down. Just set those points on the top of the slope and then twist it down in. And then it will lock in. I will show you a top view of that. So those little points will sit up on the slope. It twists in. There's the points there, there's a little detent that it locks into. So basically just turn it and it stops on this side. So you can see that. And that is fully seated and locked in. It's not sticking up. So now we'll come over to the Billet Technology oil catch can that I have. Um, basically you just gotta loosen this. Um, so righty tighty lefty loosey. This is upside down, the threads. So you're gonna turn this to the right to loosen it. Hopefully that'll be a helpful tip for some. But basically, just spin this off. Keep a hand underneath of it so you don't drop it down in your engine compartment. <laughs> and as you can see, hopefully, yep, it has caught and collected quite a bit of oil. So let's go ahead and get that clear container and see how much is in here. We'll get that clear container. We'll see how much is in here. I'm not gonna cut this because I don't want anyone to think that I have possibly have added more oil to this. Actually, here you go, container empty. And so it is still dripping out of the catch can. As you can see the oil in this clear container that I have. There's not much left in there, but that is how much it is collected. Let me go ahead and set this down and I'll show you guys a little bit better. So of course you're not gonna be able to get every single last drop of oil out of the catch can, um, but this is how much it is caught and collected. And that is a substantial chunk of oil that that catch can has collected. I don't know about you guys, but I do not want that going back in the intake side of my engine and getting on the valves going back in. That's going to dilute the octane of your fuel. Um, it's going to gunk up your intake side of your heads, your valves. Down the road, you're going to eventually have problems. And like I said, this is 3,000 miles. So times that by however many miles you'd have on your car, you'd have a rough guess how much oil your intake side and your engine is eating. So all I'm going to do is just take my shop towel that I have, wipe the bottom side of this off. Like I said, you can go to my oil catch can install video. I do show the underneath side of this catch can. It is constructed very nicely. Um, I'm really impressed with it, but I guess the true test is gonna be popping off this line and seeing if there is any oil or how much oil is in here. So we've got the whole bottom side Make sure you get your threads on the side wiped off. Um, then just take your shop towel, clean the threads up in this catch can, get all the oil out of it. Um, this is anodized aluminum, so if you have a billet technology, I wouldn't suggest using uh, brake clean or anything like that on it. I would just use a shop towel. As you can see, there is more oil there. Shop towel or rag, basically, to wipe the oil up. Not a whole lot of light in there, but you can see there's still some oil down in there. So basically, 
you just want to clean it all up. It doesn't have to be bone dry. You could put it back on the way it is if you'd like. But I want to get it completely cleaned out for my liking. So you can see all the oil on this shop towel. I need another clean one. I'm going to shove it down in there. Keep cleaning it up. I'm not trying to make this video too long for you guys. Just trying to show you the process. Not have any cuts in the video. So people are saying, oh, you added oil. No, I haven't added any oil. Um, that is what this thing has caught. So you can see now. I haven't used any chemicals or cleaners. It cleans up very easy. And then go ahead. Like I said before, just keep a hand underneath it so you don't drop it. And then go ahead and screw it back on. The threads can be kind of tricky to get started, but the machining that they've done on this, the threads are just absolutely buttery smooth. There's an O-ring at the top, so it'll get a little bit stiff. So go ahead and just keep screwing it on. You don't need it crazy tight, but just nice and snug. If you're doing this to your car, you'll know what nice and snug is, not crazy tight. So we'll go ahead and just check that. Okay, so now the true test for this Billet Technologies oil catch can is this hose coming out of the catch can to the intake side of the engine. Does it have oil in it? I don't know, but we're going to find out. I have not cracked this line off. You should be able to hear this line make a crack noise when I take it off the fitting um, because it has been on there for a long time. So this is a true test. None of it is made up or I haven't tampered with anything. So let's go ahead and take this line off. So we've got it popped off there. Wow. I'd say I need to clean underneath my engine bay. I'm just going to take this collar off the end it's just make it show be a little bit nicer let me get a light so here's a light looking down hopefully I can position this and I am not seeing any oil at all down here this tube is 100% dry and clean let's uh, go ahead and pop it off of the intake I want to be able to show you guys, maybe, there we go. So here's that line. I just took the other hose end off. So there is not any oil in this line at all. Let's try to get this light back down in here to show you guys. This line's got kind of a bend in it, so it's hard for the camera to pick that up. But there is nothing down in here. So here is a clean Q-tip. As you can see, there's the tip of the Q-tip, which is definitely longer than the fitting. That's how far down in we're going. There is the Q-tip. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of dirt on it. But other than that, there's nothing. Um, this darker spot is... I wish this camera would focus a little bit better for you guys. It's like this oil stuff that I, it's not oil, it's a lubricant that I put on the fittings when I slid the hose on, but it is 100% dry. Let's go to this other clean end that we have, flip the hose around. You can see, got that Q-tip in there all the way. There's not any oil in there. Um, if there was oil in that line, here is the oil that we dumped out. Let's roll it up. I'm not going to submerge a whole Q-tip. Let's just touch it to the oil. Like it's on the side of the container right here. So if there was oil in that line, you can see that's how the Q-tip would look right there. This is the same Q-tip. This is the other side that I used. There you go. There's a comparison right there. That's the oil that we got in there and the other side. So there's not any oil coming back through the catch can. The catch can from Billet Technologies. I am not sponsored by them. I am nothing but this catch can. 100% worth your money. It's catching all the oil. You saw what it caught. It's not letting any of this oil buy into the intake side of the head. It is catching all of it. What more can you ask for? I know I'm not saying other catch cans don't catch it all, but I wanted to show the Billet Technology one. We'll wipe this fitting down a little. 
let's take, we got a second clean Q-tip here. Let's check inside. In that fitting, so you can see, no oil in there. Come to the intake side of the engine. You can see that Q-tip's way in there. I don't want to drop it, but no oil in there. What more can you ask for, guys? I am 100% satisfied with it. So here is the hose that we just tested to see if there's any oil. Put my fancy hose ends on. Push that hose all the way in. And so you can see that thing comes off way easier than it did when I took it off. But there we go, it's back on. All right guys, well hopefully that video is not too long for you. I feel personally that is a good, solid, thorough review. Um, for me, showing the back here, the stock oil catch can. Um, basically it's really not an oil catch can because it does let oil by when I pulled the stock line off putting the oil catch can on. Um, hopefully I videoed that, that's been quite a while ago. But as you can see in that video, if I did video it, there was oil in the line going to the intake side of the intake, so it's catching the oil. Once again, look at all that oil that thing's caught. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that stuff, you can smell the gas in it. Um, but yeah, there you go. Is a billet technology catch can worth the money? Yes, absolutely. Not sponsored, it's absolutely worth it. It has caught that much oil on the outlet of the oil catch can there's not any residue or excess oil sitting in there so it is catching all the oil it's not pushing it back to the inside intake side of the wow i cannot talk it is catching all the oil it is not pushing it back into the intake on the intake so it's not pushing it back in there your engine's no longer eating that junk so basically i couldn't be any happier with the oil catch can i'm sure all oil catch cans do perform well i'm not for sure about other brands how well they do if you have one try this out leave in the comments below let me know has it done the same as this one but this one's worked really well it's a really really sweet anodized blue ties in really well with the car i love the way it looks now i love the way this thing performs so hopefully this video is helpful for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it um if you have an, in, an oil catch can any advice, info, anything, leave in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Um, hopefully you guys like the video. We got another video of the Challenger in the garage again. Because where I live, it's always winter time it seems like. But hey, it's the way it goes. I really appreciate all you guys watching the video. Go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell to get notified every time I upload a video. Leave a comment. Love interacting with you guys. But I will catch you guys on the next one. And until then, you guys take care.